Hey, it's O2ManyFish, and I'm working on my Destaco today. So the float switch in my Destaco quit. I know, pretty simple thing. Magnet goes up, float slides up and down, and triggers the CO2 to go on and off. Uh, but the float actually died. And before you go, oh, you should have just done this and this, uh, I didn't have to worry about cleaning it. Uh, I put a multimeter on what would have been the ends of the old one. Uh, there was, it was always an open circuit. It never closed. I cut the RCA plug off that goes into the stocko to make sure the at end didn't go bad. It hadn't. I switched the magnet over. It was the actual float switch itself. So what do you do when your destaco parts are not on this continent? Well, you go for it. So, uh, I was hoping that it unscrewed, but it didn't. So I twisted and broke the old float switch off, which you pretty much don't have a choice to do. The wire is, we're going to say epoxied in, but I think it's just a hot glue mixture. Anyways, so I drilled it out. Uh, if someone was more careful, and now that they have the instructions on doing this, uh, put that into a drill press. Don't hold it in your hand. And then you won't drill through the side of the center shaft that holds the wire. So that's what that piece of vinyl tubing is there. Yeah, I went through the side of it, and I'm just using that to, uh, well, no. Once you get the, this out, you'll see down in the bottom of here that it appears that this has a... Uh, I know, it's tough to see in here. This is what happens when you work in a kitchen. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It looks like there's a hex nut down in the bottom of there. You don't have to look on my video. If you're at the point where you're watching this video, you're already up that creek. So you'll be looking at this on your own. Okay, so that hex nut does not screw, unscrew at the bottom. So if you grab the top with it gently with a pair of uh, channel locks and try to unscrew it, it's just going to twist and break the pipe because that's a pretty thin wall piece of schedule. Probably not definitely, even though it's gray, this is not schedule 80. So the vinyl tubing on here is to give it some strength so it doesn't fold over. I don't think it was going to. Uh, the vinyl tubing, I put it in a cup of water, put it in the microwave for 35 seconds. It was nice and pliable, slid it right over, and then it locked onto there. Um, I used a couple different size drill bits. I started small and then kept going bigger and bigger and bigger until I got all the way through. Um, I was going to tap the top of this, but I think tapping, there's no, not enough strength in this. Um, I tried to use a, oh, what is it? A, like it's a strip remover, a reverse threaded corkscrew to pull out the old float switch, hoping it was just threaded into here, but it wasn't, and that alone was starting to twist and bend the pipe. So just, if you're in this situation, just break off the, the float switch right here at the tip and then drill out the base of the float switch. And then I believe this is a 5 16 drill bit hole maybe. And so I just drilled that out and this actually threads in pretty nice and snug. We got the wires through here. I'm heating up my hot glue gun and I'm gonna pack that wire in with hot glue and put a dab of silicone around here and then find out that, well, this gives you an idea how it threads in. If I can do this left-handed, woo, woo, woo. There, okay. It'll go in a little bit straighter. We'll show you in a minute. Anyways, let me glue this and we'll give you an update. All right, so jump to three minutes later. Uh, I got the hot glue set in there, but the hot glue is not waterproof. So we're gonna try some IC gel and some quick set and see if we can plug that and get rid of, I, I dug this back out. So I know there's a bigger hole in there and it go, you go, oh, obviously that's not waterproof. And obviously it's not, but I had a great big, all that booger stuff there was in there and it just did not stop it. So we're going to try some IC gel and see if that works. This is take two. Oh, there's the top end all done. Not too bad. Okay, we're back. That was all of about one minute. And we used our quick set, our zip, whatever you want to call it. And I put just a plug over the top with the IC gel and then give it a quick kick and we're waterproof again so here we are done and ready to go so i will put everything back together and then let you know if we were successful well it's been a while the reason there was a delay and uh this was just filling the darn thing up so there's my ext9 and uh 
seats should have the proper amount of media in it. We filled it up uh, on 1120, it looks like. And here we are clicking away with our replacement float switch. Yada, yada, yada. And we'll step back here. Of course, it's not the quietest, but if you're a Destaco person, you know that. So it's doing its thing. And the... Yeah, I'm not supposed to talk about it, but that is upgraded. Got rid of the quarter inch lines and ran half inch lines because I kept having pressure issues. And then the final part of our test today, we'll pull the paper towel out and it's 100% dry. Get the shadow out of there. No leaks. So we're good. I'll uh, solder these couple connections later. And we are just stockoing again. Yay! Give it a click, baby. Click for me. It did it. Oh, love it. Have to thank Art Cavallo. Art Cavallo, sexiest thing I ever saw. Had to have one. Appreciate it. And big shout out to Unique Corals. Let's see, we'll even get their logo on there. Unique Corals and Joe, I called him this morning about this issue. He was ready to cannibalize one. He made phone calls to see what else was compatible. And I said, ah, let me just hack it apart. So there's your hack apart video.